In the previous section, we saw how the metal fuel rods in a nuclear reactor get hot because of nuclear reactions in the uranium fuel pellets. The kind of nuclear reaction is called fission. This is when an atom with a very large, fairly unstable nucleus, like uranium, splits into two smaller atoms. Even though it's atoms that split, we're only going to worry about the nucleus. The two smaller nuclei move off at very high speed, but quickly come to rest, and their lost kinetic energy appears as thermal energy in the fuel pellet. In other words, the fissions make the fuel pellets hot. Actually, the process is a little more complex than this. Radioactivity is random and spontaneous. You can't tell when it will happen, and you can't speed it up or slow it down. Fission can happen spontaneously, but in a nuclear reactor, you make it happen in a controlled way. You do this by making the nucleus absorb another neutron. It's then too big to be stable, and breaks into two large-ish parts and a small number of neutrons. It's these neutrons that can go on to cause further fissions in what's called a chain reaction. The neutrons that are released in fission are generally going too fast for them to be absorbed by nearby nuclei. So to get a chain reaction, you need to slow them down and get them to cause a fission in a neighbouring fuel rod. You slow down the neutrons by placing a material called a moderator between the fuel rods. In a pressurised water reactor, the moderator is just the water that the fuel rods are heating up. The hydrogen atoms in the water are good at slowing neutrons down because they have roughly the same mass. Some reactor designs from the 1970s and 80s use graphite as a moderator, but these are coming to the end of their lives. One advantage of using water as a moderator is that if you lose the water, then the fission reactions rapidly stop.